Hello, my name's Jo. I'm a professional cake decorator at the Indulgence Cupcake Company and today I'm going to show you two ways to make ladybird cupcakes. So the first cupcake I'm going to show you is a buttercream ladybird and for this I'm using a vanilla cupcake and making sure that the case is standing slightly proud of the cake. You'll need red buttercream First, pipe this on into a slight dome and then using a palette knife just smooth it round. And the reason for having a case that's slightly proud is it helps to keep the buttercream nice and even around the side. Next you will need some black icing you can use black royal icing or you can just use a black glacé icing as I'm doing which is a simple mixture of icing sugar, water and black food colouring. And with a small writing nozzle you need to do a line going all the way across the top of the cake. Now we need to do the face of the ladybird, this black area here. So we need to pipe a line across like so and then fill it in all the way to the edge. Now if it's looking a bit rough and you'd like it smooth, all you need to do is take your palette knife, make it, make it wet and then just dab very slightly and the icing will smooth over. I'm going to make the dots. So this is the easy part, just squeeze the dots on So take the mini marshmallow and very carefully, with a sharp pair of scissors, just cut the top like so and then open it out. And, oops, stick it on. Take your black icing just to do the pupils. Squeeze along there to make a smile. And there is the buttercream ladybird cupcake. Next I'm going to show you how to do a fondant ladybird cupcake. So again I'm using a vanilla sponge and choosing one with a case that's slightly proud. And we need to do a buttercream dome the same as in the previous cake. We're going to use a palette knife to smooth it over. It doesn't have to be as smooth as the previous one because you're not going to see it. So as long as it's just a dome like that, that's fine. Then place it in the middle of the board and just using your fingertips, just push it out into a circle. Now get a round cutter, you want it to be larger than the size of the cupcake to allow for the dome. Cut that out and just make sure it's nice and smooth and then place the disc on the cupcake and gently smooth it over with your hand. Now you need to take some black fondant to make the face the line across the back and the dots. So I'll move the cake to the side, knead the fondant. You just cut with a very sharp craft knife carefully along the back, like so. Then we take the cutter that we used for the red fondant and just place it across like so, so that you end up with this shape here. 
take the cake, make it damp at the edge with your water and brush and place the black fondant on like so. Get your craft knife and just cut a strip and take a cupcake make the line down the back wet and Place the fondant on and then use your craft knife just to trim the edge and now we're going to do the dots so you can use the same piece of fondant here and I'm using a big round nozzle to make my dots and I have a special little tool here that I use to poke it out again and you just Make the bat wet and place the dot on like so. Now to do the eyes, we get a small amount of white icing. Now for this, we're not going to use a cutter. We're just going to make a small ball. Make it wet there just so that it sticks, place it on and push it down like so and then I use a couple more of the dots I made earlier for the pupils, make it wet and again and there you have fondant ladybird.